bro. This is something that is just not talked about enough. Like, it's just not. You guys want to know some of the most dangerous people in this world, and I'm going to convince you guys that this is the truth. <clears throat> the most dangerous people in this world are not people that show you how bad or how evil they are. It's the clingy, needy people that act like good people. It's the people who act like such good people. Are the ones you really want to watch out for, bro. People look at me doing these videos and like, oh my god, this guy is so serious. He's, this guy is so this, this guy is so that. Being serious and being nicey-nice Nicey nice has no correlation to how good or bad of a person you are. How monotone, how raging, raging emotion. Just, just, oh my God, just, let's just chill on that and let's just speak facts. That's my whole motto. That's my whole thing. Why waste energy? Why waste emotion and get and drain yourself? It is draining. People that are overly happy, bro, just... Bounce around all day, just smiling all the time, overly happy. They lack a lot of things I have. They can't work like I can work. Because they waste too much energy being happy all day. I'm not saying don't be happy. But they waste their energy, like, not, not even get happiness out of what I just said. They waste their energy being too emotional. Whether it's laughing and smiling and going on all day and, and just being crazy or whether you're just waste, wasting emotion in other ways. Wasting your emotion is going to drain your clip. You will not simply have enough, you will simply have, you will simply not have enough energy to get what you need to get done in the run of a day. If you're wasting all of your emotion. You have to be more relaxed, cool, calm, collected. You have to know how to be, and of course, you have to use some emotion in the run of a day to do certain things. You're, things are going to happen, but you have to know how to calm your tits down, to set yourself straight, to focus on something, to get a task done. Some people believe life is all about happiness and all this kind of stuff. To be laughing and smiling all day, but how are you going to get anything done that is good if you're just being that way? The answer is, you're not. You're just simply not. So, back to what I was saying. When it comes to Overly desperate, clingy, needy people. They just will not stop, bro. They just will not stop. They're the most dangerous people in the world. And they pretend to be such good people too, don't they? Let me tell you why they're so dangerous. Because they'll convince people how good they are. But yet, all they do is know how to drain people. They're not doing enough with their own lives. All they do is drain everybody else because they're too desperate, clingy, needy. It's like they just, they're just reaching it. They, they, they just need something from somebody all the time. It's just berserk. They are dangerous people, very dangerous. They are terrible communicators. They are so dangerous because if they actually get you in their web, all they're going to do is run you dry. They're just going to run you dry. You're not going to feel right, bro. They are terrible communicators. If they learn how to communicate how to be, 
they would have much better odds in this world with having success with others. But they just can't. Because they're always in that clean, needy, desperate energy. And it's like, it's... It pisses me off. Like, it literally just angers me. I've dealt with people like that my whole life. That kind of stuff, bro, I am telling you, they are dangerous individuals. They're not going to harm your life in a, in a deathly way, but they will suck your clip dry. They're going to emotionally drain you. They're going to emotionally suck you dry, bro. And then you can't even be who you're supposed to be. You cannot even be yourself. When you have those types of people in your life and they're close to you, you cannot be the person you're supposed to be. Because they're always looking for energy out of you because they can't gain energy themselves. They don't know how to get energy in their own bodies, in their own temples. They just can't. If they would exercise properly, if they knew how to feed themselves properly, if they knew how to do things properly, if they knew how to communicate properly, they'd be in a much better place. But they just, they're so clingy and needy and desperate. They're just always in that same state and they wonder why nobody wants to go anywhere near them. Just get away from me. That's, that's the energy they possess. They are not likable people. They want to pretend they're so nice and stuff like this, but they're not likable people. Like I said, acting nice or being nice and stuff like this has no correlation to whether somebody wants to be around you or not. It just don't. <clears throat> These people are not pleasures to talk to. There are some people it is a pleasure to talk to. The conversation rolls. It's a well put together conversation. It's mutual. There's mutual understandings. There's mutual benefits. And there's some people where it's just like you want to pull your hair out of your head. Just from them being near you. Just from them talking to you. It could be the smallest things and they just irritate you. The smallest little things is just so irritating. They need a lot of, they need a lot of help. They need professional help. They're just never going to get it. It's just absurd. And I'm trying to explain to you guys how dangerous they actually are. Say goodbye to your life. Say goodbye to your potential. They're going to lock you down like a prisoner. And expect you to entertain them like a monkey in the zoo for the rest of your life. You have no idea what these people are like. Please be in my life and please, please exist so I can just... Watch you and gain energy from you. I can bring nothing to you, but I, I like you. Of course you like me. Of course you like other people. But we don't like you. You don't do anything. You don't bring nothing to the table of value. We feel worst when people like you come around. And I'm not even trying to be mean. It might sound mean. Oh my God. I'm just a big old meanie, ain't I? I'm just talking truth. Whether it's mean, whether it's nice, it remains the truth. Like, the truth is the truth. If you're a very good looking person, hey, you're a very good looking person. I'm telling the truth, ain't I? It might sound nice, it might sound like it's a compliment, but if you weren't, you're not so nice looking of a person. It's still the truth. Might not sound so nice, but guess what, guys? The truth is the truth. Like, one plus one equals two. It is the truth. It is a fact. It will always be the truth. It will always remain a fact. The, flat, the, the, the fact that you're a clingy, needy, desperate person remains a fact. You are that. If you are a person, the type of person where you are a pleasure to talk to, you're a pleasure to talk to. That is a fact. It is the truth. You are. So get out of here with that, oh, mean stuff. The truth is the truth. If you never hear the truth, you can't improve. 
if you're a realist and you live by the truth, your, your, your chances and your odds of improving drastically go up. Drastically go up. But these desperate, clingy, needy people want to live in the comfort of their own lies and their, and their own bullshit. Always avoiding reality, always avoiding the truth, acting like this, acting like that. Bro, please stop. Like, please stop with that. Get your head on straight, please. They don't realize how crazy they sound, man. All these types of people, bro. I've dealt with them my whole life. They don't understand. They don't even understand that we know what they are. Because we can't even be fully honest with them. We just can't. I don't care if it's a girl, if it's a guy. You can't be brutally honest with these people because it breaks them. Because they're, they're brittle. They easily break. They cannot be told the truth. <clears throat> and like I said, I don't know if you're a clingy, needy, desperate person watching this video. It might sound so mean to you. Oh my God, it's mean. It's still the truth. This should improve you. And everybody else that is watching this video that is actually a half decently normal person, they're having a good laugh right now. They're like, this guy's spit, spitting facts. This is the truth. Of course it's the truth. What do you think? What else do you think we preach here? Man. But I'm telling you, bro, these people are dangerous. They're, they're a lot more dangerous than you think. And I've just explained that very well. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you understand this. They are dangerous. They are nothing. If you if you know what they are, it's nothing. If you don't understand what they are and you you acknowledge them just because they're 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 acting nice, you're in a world. You're you're in a you're in a hellhole is what you're in. Because if you get close to these people, bro, it's a big it's the beginning of the end for you. They will ruin your life. If you get close. They don't know how to act right as a human being in itself. When you single them out and you look at what they are and you look at their actions and you look at what they do, they don't know how to act. They don't know how to be as a human being. They don't. They don't understand what they're doing wrong either. They're just always doing something that is wrong and they don't get it. They don't think they are, but they are. And if you have people that are doing wrong things in life around you, what's going to happen to you? All of a sudden, you're going to become that person. That's why I can do nothing but listen to successful people talk in my ears all day long. It's refreshing. It's energetic. You are what you surround yourself with. All the time. If you have energy drainers and suckers in your life, bro, clingy, needy, desperate people just trying to talk to you all the time, it's going to bring you down. They are desperate. They need help. They need, 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 need. Instead of looking in the fucking mirror, you need yourself. You don't need anyone else. What you need to do is you need to be yourself because you're not yourself. That's what it is. That's why the only people I listen to on a daily basis and I avoid everybody else as much as I can because I'm just, my patience with people, bro, is thin. It is thin. I'm just sick of people nowadays. I'm just sick of them. Like, get away from me. Do not stop me. Do not do anything. Just learn to shut up. We are advancing. And yeah, once again, this sounds so mean. It's all about advancing, it's all about growth. That's how you feel that happiness within yourself. You feel empty when you're not growing, when you're not contributing 
in the world like you should be. When you're not becoming what God put you on earth to be. That's when you become stagnant and nothing is happening. Things don't make sense. You have to figure shit out. You have to work hard. You have to listen to things that make you pucker up your cheeks. You have to listen to things that make you shed a tear. You have to let things hurt. That's what a lot of these weak individuals do not understand. They don't let things hurt them. They just want to sit in the comfort of their fucking shell. Oh my God, it's the truth. Don't Please don't tell me that. I just want to keep living how I am right now. You need to hear the truth. Deeply. You deeply need to hear the truth. More than anybody else. And like I said, it is so refreshing hearing people talk that know what they're talking about. It is refreshing. I am simply not who I am today if I have not taken the actions I have taken in life and I'm pretty sure that's, that's common sense. I am smart enough as a singled out human being to just do the right things. And it's not that hard to me, but it seems so damn hard for, for most of everybody else. And it's just mind blowing to me. Like, doing the right things is really not that damn hard. It's really not that damn hard. Just do it. It's not gonna kill you. You're not gonna die. What does not kill you makes you stronger. But these people, bro, these clingy, needy, desperate people, they just have a fear-based mindset. Fear, 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 fear. Fear to do this, fear to do that. They just can't do anything right. They're all right as they are. You're never all right as you are. I'm not all right as I are right now. I'm going to get a lot better. If I was to just stop doing everything I do on a daily basis, I have failed. If I stop growing as a person, I have failed. You see who I am right now? Next year at this time, I'm going to be way better, bro. And that's how you know you're succeeding. You're different every single year. Go look at the person I was throughout the start of my YouTube journey. Look at the videos from the very beginning and look right fucking now. Tell me that's the same person. It is not. Even last year at this time, not the same person. Might be similarities. I'm, I mean, I'm still me. I'm still in my body and stuff like this. There might be a few similarities, but there's differences. There has been change. There has been growth. Progress has been made. That's how you know you're doing the right things. And last thing is last. It will be the death of you to be around these clingy, needy, desperate people because they will stop you from everything you're doing. They will stop you from becoming successful. You'll go from feeling your best, your energy so good, you feel so good to them coming into your life, bro, and you feel this darkness in your, in your heart and in your soul. You feel like the life is coming out of you because they take it out of you, bro. They suck the life out of you. They are energy stealers. They are energy drainers. They are damaged beyond measure. It is not good. You will fall right with them if you let them in. You cannot let them in. You have to do your own shit and if people can't keep up, you have to let them go. That's how life really is. It's not that hard to understand. You know what you have to do. The smartest thing any human being can do is get away from everybody for a bit, do your work at your pace, at your level, right? 
There's somebody in the world. There's somebody exi that, that exists that is on your level. You have to get the people that are on your level involved in your life. That is what you have to do. Who can keep up, who can understand you. Who understands that this is how it has to be and you keep moving forward together in life. If you have people that are slowing you down, that are trying to stop you, that are trying to distract you, that are trying to stop you from everything you're doing. Clingy, needy, desperate people, bro. They gotta fucking go. Like, yesterday. They gotta go. <laughs>